Hi, a warm welcome. My name is Caridina and I'm grateful that you're joining me today for the season's greetings calendar, supporting a healthy connection to our body and the regulated autonomic nervous system as we approach Christmas. It's good you're here. Enjoy the daily sound bits. Regulation Our autonomic nervous system, as a valuable and essential part of our central nervous system, is responsible for regulating our states of being. It wants to protect us and ensure our survival, independent and not influenceable by what our conscious mind wants. It's a million of years old developmental program which has the body's best interest in mind and can surprise us with sudden state changes dependent upon, put in a highly simplified manner, complex interactions between brainstem, organs and interactive deeper programs of the amygdala, a guardian of our brain and being, and the limbic system. Basically, this nervous system has, depending on how detailed we want to go, a foundational three-tire or layer program, termed the polyvagal theory, researched and created by scientist Dr. Stephen W. Porges, that we can experience as states of the body, but also see reflected in our thoughts if we pay attention to our mood, overall feeling and thinking patterns. Big part of getting to know ourselves better for regulating our own body and helping to co-regulate others is to get to know better our own nervous system and its patterns and in what states, after what influences, it shifts us into. It's important that we use the information that comes from our thoughts and somatic states as information regarding the gear shift our body makes, which program it is running on, so we can work with our body on a somatic level to bring us back to the most helpful program. All the steps that we walk together in the last seven days are the way to lovingly and consciously shift gears or change program. It's really important for you to always remember that although the polyvagal theory autonomic nervous system program of your body might be recognizable in your thoughts and thought patterns, that you cannot think your way out of these states, as they are somatic or body states the nervous system brings us in, and are not influenceable by mind. For regulation, we need hierarchical classification in order to determine what we need to regulate. Let's work with a simple not perfect analogy, to the three-tire system of polyvagal theory by picturing the rooms of a house. The polyvagal theory is more or less hierarchical as mentioned in the sense that one state always leads to the next one and the way out of one state to the hierarchical next one is, of course, inverse or the other way around. So let's picture a house with a huge beautiful living room on the first floor, with great views, lots of open space living, plants, animals, friends hanging out, a lot of social life, and let's call this space ventral wagle. Next in the hierarchy, let's picture a fitness room on entry level, with a sand sack for boxing and a treadmill for running, a fight or flight room, of activation or the sympathetic activation room. And as we move further down on the hierarchy, we arrive in the basement where we find a small room, not very well ventilated, with only a mattress that fits into the space, not much room to move and no window or connection to the outside. It's the perfect spot for hibernation and it's called dorsal vagal. So as you can see by imagining these three spaces of life, they are hierarchical in the sense that they are classified by openness and social interaction with a lot of constructive exposure and connection towards the dynamic of protecting personal space by either fight or flight or protecting mere survival 
as in hibernation, by complete withdrawal and shutting down or reducing all vitality signs. As I said before, a lot of what we've practiced together step by step in week one helps and support you with regaining a sense of self, connection, awareness, agency, and exchange. Keep this in mind that you have tools that you can practice for regulation. But let's aid ourselves with getting to know better and detecting our autonomic nervous system states so we can be in touch with how far down the ladder we have been moved by certain persons, events or circumstances, especially during the pandemic that seems to last forever. The dorsal vagal hibernation, let's say, energy room in the basement tone is classified by the energy of helplessness and hopelessness. Thoughts, thoughts such as, this will never change. I am so exhausted and drained. This is so frustrating. I am so sick of living like this. Generally speaking, after our connection to ourselves exercises, in order to regulate us out of the basement, means we need to activate energy to move up a level. The sympathetic fight or flight room on entry level is classified by thoughts of fear, anxiety and urgency. Thought patterns in this room sounds like, I have to do this now. I am so scared, Dad. Oh my God, I'm terrified. This is life or death. I'm screwed. It feels like I'm dying. Why, why, why? I need to understand this now. Generally speaking, After connecting to ourselves and realizing where we are on the ladder, we need to calm us and find connection to ourselves, but also to other people that are trustworthy and spend time connecting through our heart, finding support. When we are well regulated, in touch with ourselves and equipped with a good emotional external support system of other people we can trust, we feel safe enough to move up to the first floor open view room of ventral vagal. Thoughts that reflect the quality of openness, compassion and presence. We might spontaneously catch ourselves thinking things like, ah, it did not work out this time, but I'm learning from this and it will shift in the future, I'm sure. It sucks that it turned out this way it did. I wish it was different. Maybe I can sit with this a bit and just witness. I'm curious why this happened the way it did. Wow, that was hard for me. But I still did it. I'm going to give myself some extra love right now. So after going through these three levels of dorsal vagal, sympathetic activation and ventral vagal, the three levels of our autonomic nervous system. And today, as we're beginning the new round of seven, I want you to get a feeling for these three states of your autonomic nervous system as you accompany yourself during the following days and maybe the upcoming week, and use the exercises of week one of connection, grounding, accepting, acceptance, resistance, inner space, exchange and integration for connection and regulation. I'm curious regarding how you're doing and happy if you let me into your progress by leaving a comment. As usual, thank you for being here on day eight, starting a new cycle. Have a wonderful Wednesday. Enjoy your day and see you soon. Thank you for being here. Namaste.